Hey everybody, welcome to this week's community pick, which happened to be a street judge. You took me all by surprise. I thought I had a million and one street judge painting videos on this channel, and you guys voted in another one. So here comes the newest one. We have the street judge. I can't tell if I think they are reloading. I believe that's what they're doing. I'm not 100% sure. They could be weirdly shooting something in the sky, maybe a sky surfer, or they're reloading. I'm going to assume they're reloading. But we kick things off with a black primed model and then pallid witch flesh heavily dried over, which later on, on certain areas that are going to be green, red, and yellow, I hit it up again with some ceramite white just to brighten up those spots. But we kick off the speed painting with the cloud... What was it again? Cloud Strike Blue? It's my go-to judge's uniform. Gives it a nice dark blue. I really like it. If you're using GW paints, I would say Levadon Blue is maybe the closest. Looking at my paint pots. Yeah, I'm going to say Levadon Blue would probably come close. I like this blue. I've mentioned it a few times. I don't like painting straight up black. I do it, don't get me wrong. You can see it in this video when I do the helmet. But I don't like it on street judges. For me, street judges are dark blue. Yeah, S-A, uh, S-A-S. The S-J-S. Uh, your pitch black uniforms. I think that's a good way of differentiating them. If I can get my words out. I always say that phrase, that should be on a t-shirt if I can get my words out. Maybe I'll try and design that and sell t-shirts on the channel. <laughs> I think I'm losing the plot. But anyway, we're going to work our way around of the model, getting this dark blue on, taking our time, being neat and tidy. I'm just making sure that the paint is sitting well. Once again, it's a weird, hot and humid day in Ottawa. I don't know what's going on. I think the planet's broken, guys. I think the planet's broken and the cursed Earth isn't that far away anymore. But uh, even with some thinner in this paint, this seems to be going on a bit thicker than normal. I'm pretty sure I shook it up well and I added a couple of drops of thinner. But it seems to be sitting heavy on the model. But that's a me problem, not a you problem. Right. We can probably jump forward a little bit. I've only got the body left to do. And probably by the time I finish yapping, we'll be at the end of it. But we will jump forward a little bit. Right, the cloud burst of blue is dry. I've gone over some of the gray areas with the ceramite white just to brighten them up whilst we were on our little break. And now I've grabbed the High Lord blue that I'm going to use on the visor lens. It's a very quick, very tiny step. But I've got to be neat and tidy. I don't want to mess this up. Because I've got to try and get some red on this helmet. And I don't want to be painting red over blue. That'd be a real nightmare. So, I've been thinking about battle reports. I've obviously got the third battle report to do for the starter set. That's a bigger project than I'm currently capable of doing at this time. So I was thinking of some smaller ones. And one that came to mind was there used to be a mongoose scenario called Judge's Duel. I don't know if any of you guys remember it. If you do, drop me a comment. But the idea was, in the early days of Judge Dredd, he had to face off against the judge who'd gone crazy. And it was a pretty straight-up scenario. You both had street judges. One happened to be Judge Dredd. But because it was early in his career, he was just your basic veteran street judge. And he goes up against the same stat. So it's just two judge models having a shootout and... I really like that idea. I like it a lot. So that is probably going to be the battle report I do first. What I'm going to do, though, is go through the old Mongoose range, try and find the actual scenario and look at the rules. I'm then going to post those rules in the community column on YouTube for you guys to have a quick read through as well. Make sure it makes sense. And then I'll do a battle report. I think that's a nice, easy thing for me to do. It's not going to be too stressful because it's just two models and in theory probably like a, a one foot by one foot table might even be big enough 
and we can see how that goes. And if you like it, I'll probably dig up some more of the other mongoose rules because I've got them all on my computer somewhere. And uh, we'll see what else we can convert into the Warlord Games version. Shouldn't be too hard to do, but I just thought that'd be interesting. Let me know if you agree. Hopefully you do. Uh, to be honest, I'm doing it one way or the other, so you're either on board, and if you are, thank you very much, I love you, or you're not, in which case, thank you for watching. <laughs> I appreciate your view time. Right, as you can see, we have now moved on to the Orc Green Flesh. I love this colour. It's bright, it's colourful, it dries very nicely. It's very uh, comic book green, in my opinion. It really pops against the dark blue. It really makes a feature of the judge, and I, I truly love it. So I'm going to be picking out the boots, the knee pads, the pouches on his waist, the elbow pads, and his hand gloves. So this is going to take me a little while. So for the power of my very poor editing skills, we will jump into the next color. And that next color is the blood red. Nice bright red. I don't know if you can see it. You probably hopefully can. But I've picked out the... Uh, trying to think what it's called. The little red line on the lawgiver where it tells you ammo and all that kind of stuff. Picked that out. It's a tiny red line. Drove me nuts trying to keep it tidy. It's going to be very hard to see once I've actually coloured in the pistol. But it's there. I've done it on both sides. And then I've moved on to the helmet and I'm going to capture the edge. I'm being really, really gentle. I'm using a layer brush this time. I'm not using my normal slap it on shade brush, which I would normally use. I'm actually trying to be tidy for once. I'm just working my way around this helmet, making sure I'm staying within the lines. One thing I like about the Warlord models is there is a very clear line cut into the helmets of where the rim should be on these. And I do truly appreciate that being there. It makes it so much easier. As you can see, I'm just trying to be nice and tidy. I want to get this done. I'm also thinking about those mongoose missions. I remember there being like a, a fatty stampede one, which could be fun to try and recreate as well. And then I'm really got to dig them up, but I'm pretty sure there's dinosaurs. There's a dinosaur one. I can't remember if it was for facing dinosaurs in the cursed earth or if it represented like a, a zoo breakout or something. But there were definitely dinosaurs if I can find those rules and see how much work it would be to try and convert them into Warlord games, I think I've got like a, a fun little series here where I can try and convert the rules, give you guys a week to read them over in the community chat, and then I play a game and release it as a battle report. Maybe you guys can play it at home. I think that could be fun. I really do. Right. We are now on to the Zealot Yellow which we're going to use on the helmet badge. And then, of course, the two shoulder pads and his little belt buckle. This is probably a good time to say like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Drop me comments. I love chatting to you guys when you reach out. And uh, feel free to share. Share away. Got to, got to push the algorithm and all that stuff. It's hard, hard work trying to get new people to see the stuff. It's weird because I've got this little diehard group of you that I communicate a lot either on here or on Instagram or on Facebook and it's wonderful. I love chatting away with you guys, seeing your work and sharing it. I just want to find more people. I want more people to chat Judge Dredd to and share stuff. So if you know people that might be interested, let them know I exist. Tell them to say hi and tell them uh, to tell me if you sent them. Because I want to know. I want to find people. I want to find people enjoying this game and having fun with it like we are. It's such a great game. It deserves more love than it actually gets. I know Bolt Action is Warlord Games' biggest uh, prized child. But I really think they're under something with the 2000 AD line. Obviously, there's some rules that need cleaning up and we probably could do with a version two of most of the rules but I do think they've got a great little system here 
And uh, I'd, I'd hate to see the line get forgotten. There's so much stuff that they can pull from for Judge Dredd. Like I said, there's the dinosaurs they could do. They've got all the rest of the Angel Gang to bring out. The Dark Judges. We haven't even touched Soviet Judges yet. Or Judges from around the world. There's plenty of Clegg stuff they could do. They could make supplements representing different uh, eras of the comic. Imagine if we got a Judge Carl set up. Even if they don't change the rules for the lawgivers, at least giving us the option to try and play something during that time would be fun. They could explore the cursed earth. Could bring back strontium dogs as a supplement. I think that would be the easiest way to bring back strontium dogs. You just make it as a standalone supplement that uses the Judge Dredd rulebook. Update all the character cards. Make it so that they fit the Judge Dredd rules and you're done. This doesn't have to be difficult. They could also add in things like Nemesis as a standalone supplement for the ABC Warriors. I'm trying to think you could have Brits it quite easily come into it. Like Chief, uh, not Chief, Judge Armitage could come in. Department K would be a great add-on feature for it. I just think they got so much space still ex Still, uh, still to explore with this system that I really hope that they keep pushing it forward. I know uh, 2000 AD can be rather difficult to work with, but there's a real opportunity here for them to have a very good standing game system. As long as they don't mess it up. Be nice also if we got some multi-part kits, even if they like the movies that we had. In Strontium Dog, it'd be great if you could actually build it and make your own characters rather than just having standard posed models. I understand why they did it. It's easier to do it in resin. It's a lot simpler as a business to do it. But if we had multi-part judge kits, oh, imagine. We'd all be going crazy. We'd have like 200 judges each as we kept building more and more and more. Also, we would love to see some bigger kits. I think that's another opportunity that they've not explored yet. And I think something like the Apocalypse War would be a great time to do that kind of stuff. Get the big sub tanks out. Get some of the big ABC Warrior tanks out as well. There's been some amazing tanks in that comic series. I just want more. That's all i got to say. <laughs> I'm going to stop ranting about it. Just give me more stuff, please, Warlord Games. I want more figures to buy. Right, we are pretty much reaching the end now. I've got the Grim Black. One of the rare occasions you see me using just pure black. I think I thinned it down a little bit too much, so this may take a coat or two. But this is going to be the last step. So I hope you enjoyed my little rant and my ramble. Hopefully I didn't ramble too much. Uh, if you're still here, love you thank you make sure to hit that like uh, if you've not subscribed and you've lasted this long i think i've earned a subscribe i think you've earned a subscribe because you want to obviously hear me waffle on for 20 minutes and uh yeah i'll catch you in another video soon as always i love you cheers for watching and i'll catch you very soon Bye bye